attempt to acquire a new explosive, the wizard's men board a special train which their leader stops by remote control. Batman and Robin overhaul the train as it gets underway again and... Calling headquarters. Car 4 to headquarters. Headquarters, come in, Car 4. Batman is aboard the train. I'll stop it. No one knows what to do. Shipment of X-90. Hand it over. Nolan, they're after us. Step on it, Floyd. Car four, calling headquarters. Car 4, calling headquarters. Go ahead, Car 4. We got the X-90 shipment according to plan. Batman is trailing us. I'll take him out of the running for good. What's wrong? The car's gone haywire. It may be that remote control machine. We took care of the X-90.
the time the train crew realized what was happening, we were hightailing it with the box. Very interesting. But of course, you have the other box. What other box? The box contained the special detonators. X-90 is worthless without them. Don't tell me you left that box aboard the train. We grabbed all we could before the Batman showed up. Forget Batman. I gave you a job to do, Nolan, and you failed. I don't like failures. Well, maybe there must be some other way we can get a hold of the detonators. There is. I always have a plan. That's right, Commissioner. Dick and I trailed Dunn from Brown's apartment to the railroad yard. It certainly looks as though Brown is getting his broadcast tips from him. By all means, do that. Goodbye. He'll have Dunn shadowed. That'll take care of one suspect. Well, what about Brown? If Brown is behind these robberies, which I doubt, he may be using these broadcasts to give instructions to his gang. However, I still think Brown is just a show off. Well, he may be, but he sure told the gang where that explosive was. An explosive won't do them any good without a special detonator. And even Batman doesn't know where that could be obtained. <laughs> sure hope the wizard doesn't know either. Any messages, Carter? Yes, sir. Just one, sir. Uh, Mr. Morton telephoned while you were sleeping. Morton? Morton? Oh, yes, the inventor of X-90. Inventor of what, sir? Uh, never mind. Uh, it's nothing. Did Mr. Morton say where he could be reached? Yes, sir, at the hotel staff. It's probably of no importance, sir. Forget it, Carter. This is Barry Brown with another exclusive news tip. Wesley Morton, inventor of X-90, the new and powerful explosive, the theft of which I recently predicted, is here in Gotham City. For those who are vitally interested, I can say that he is stopping at the Stafford Hotel. Did you hear Barry Brown's broadcast? Yes, sir. Did it give you any ideas? Well, it told us where the man who invented the detonators could be located. Mm, you're improving, Nolan. Our next move will be to arrange for a conference with Mr. Morton at Rendezvous A. Picture magazine, and I'd like to get a few shots for our next issue. How did you uh, learn I was here? I haven't informed the press. Well, somebody informed a certain broadcaster. Barry Brown revealed your little secret on his news broadcast today. Well, my mission is of a private nature. I'm not prepared to grant interviews. Sorry to change your plans, Mr. Morton, but you are going to be interviewed. You'll soon find out. Who are you? That is unimportant. You have perfected X-90, a highly concentrated explosive that requires special detonators. I need a supply of them. You will tell me where they are. Why, I can't do that. Look at me, Morton. No. No, I won't. But you will. Look at me, Morton. Research plant, vault number 10. You will remain here until your information can be verified. It won't take long.
answer. It said, stay here. It's all the excitement. I've been locked in a closet. Did you get some nice pictures in there? Quit your joking. Morton's been kidnapped from his hotel room. Kidnapped? Did you notify the police? Naturally. You don't suppose I was saving the news just for you, do you? I'll have Alfred bring you some tea. Oh, you would think of tea at a time like this. Oh, certainly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go take my vitamins. Your news has upset me greatly. What's up? Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon speaking. Morton's been kidnapped. How did you know that? Never mind now. You can thank Barry Brown and his broadcast for putting Morton on the spot. Now, tell me this. Does anybody else know Morton by sight? Hamill, for instance? Well, I tried to get Professor Hamill at his home, but he was on his way to the research plant. I'll call him there. Don't bother. Batman will take care of it. Is the car ready? New wine installed and tested. Let's go. Couldn't we phone Hamill at the research plant for Morton's description? It's not that simple. There could be a connection between Morton's kidnapping and Hamill's unexpected absence. Then you think Hamill's involved? I'm not sure, but I think he knows where Morton keeps those X-90 detonators. No, Hamill. Wesley Morton hasn't communicated with us. Were you expecting him here? No, it's just that I missed his phone call at home and thought he might have decided to visit the plant. I'll wait a bit longer. Matter, I guess. Ah, the motor conked out on us. Would you take a look? Sure, maybe I can help. Floyd, drag him back in the fresh. Floyd, hide this car. Bring back that portable radio. man is going to appear, Hamill. I'll wait just a few moments longer.
Wait here until I find out. That truck is parked just around the curb. Also to be eliminated by the wizard's men? Will Morton be forced to reveal his valuable secret? Be sure to see Batman Trapped, the fourth action chapter of Batman and Robin, at this theater next week.